Hey guys, it's August, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. I hope you like my little intro there. <laughs> Didn't I say that theme would work well here? <laughs> In the last episode, we fought Fantoon, and that was one hell of a fight. I actually found it a lot of fun. Even- Ah, go away! Where did he go? He's over there, okay. Yeah, even though I like swore so much in that fight and I almost died, it was really a lot of fun. So let's begin the investigation now that the electricity is back online. One thing to say so far is that I hate the enemies in this area so much. Like those little balls aren't too bad, but those bugs? Uh, why do they have to be like, you know, why do they have to be in this area? Because they are one of the worst things ever. And let me guess, this is a room where we have to clear all the enemies out to pass through. That means we'll have to go back and take care of that bug. Come back here. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, they just swoop at you, like, so quickly. There's, like, nothing you can do to avoid them. Go rid of you. Is that everyone in this room? It is. First, we have this way to go. Or should we go the other way? Eh, this goes to a dead end and an upgrade from the look of it. So let's check it out. What do we have in here? We have... Treadmills and <laughs> SpaghettiOs. Is Mother Brain in here? Doesn't look like it, just these robots. Yes, fall in the holes. So I can get past to get my upgrade. <laughs> I'm mashing that button. I wonder if missiles will work better. <laughs> I don't want to waste them. Yeah, as you can see, I also went back to my ship and got some resupplies. So yes, I am full energy because I was about one bar at the end of the last episode, so... <laughs> Missiles. Too bad they're not stupid missiles, because we could definitely use some more of those, that's for sure. Well, I guess we'll be heading back to the other door, then. Today, I actually went down to the shops and bought some chips, and I think the girl actually gave me wrong change. I'm not, not completely sure, because I didn't have the receipt. I threw it away, but... <laughs> but after I figured it out, I just had, like, these visions of me being, like, this incredible super villain, like, <laughs> with a top hat and a monocle. <laughs> <laughs> the image I thought of was actually was like, you know, of Count Black or something, and going, Bleh! Now I can buy even more chips with this two dollars that the girl gave me. <laughs> it's really stupid, but... Come back here! Seriously, I hate these damn bugs! If this is the last area we see them, then I will be very relieved. Go away, seriously. Is it everything in this area? No, we have one more of these balls. Thankfully, these things just fly you very slowly. Give me that. Yes, let's leave this area to a new area, I guess. No? Oh, we're back outside the ship. Awesome. Let's see what's... Oh, whoops. Oh, there's a door there. Let's just investigate the rest of this first. Ah, oh, I better investigate the door. I can always come back. What is in this area? Let's see, let's see. We are back in the ship. Uh, speed boosting. Uh, can we get down there? It does not look like it. Uh, is, is that a reserve tank? I think it is. I think reserve tanks, like, um, if you run out of energy, they can refill you back up. Although I haven't got any of them, so... <laughs> I'm not 100%, but I think that's what they do. Sweet rave party! Almost. <laughs> I was too busy saying it, I forgot to shoot the door. Let's see what else is in this area. We have a few doors down here you can break through. Uh, it doesn't look like it, unless... No, I guess not, okay. What's up here? There's some weird platforms here, that's for sure. Uh, Oh, I think there's actually an upgrade we can get here. I think you have to jump up these guys. I'm not 100%, but I think so. I think it's actually fairly difficult as well, so hopefully I get this on the first try. But there should be another one. Yeah, I can see his flame up there. He's flaming. And I think there should be one more up right at the top, so. Where is he? If I miss this once, I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna leave. It seems fairly difficult. Shoot! There it is! Missiles! Awesome! That puts us at I think it puts it at 75, which is not too bad at all. Yes, let's fall down. Seems to upgrade over here too. You know what this calls for? Power bombs! I'm kind of glad I have so many power bombs because I can just waste them like all the time. Now, how do we get over there? It's. Huh? Wait, can we get over there? 
It doesn't look like it, huh? Unless you have to, like, come down from the bottom or something. I'm really not sure, guys. I don't want to go down there, but that makes you go down to the bottom area. That means we'll have to go all the way around back to the wrecked ship to get back up here, so... That is not a good plan, that's for sure. Let's head this way and see what we got. Damn bombs. <laughs> do, you, do you jump ball in this game? I'm not really sure. It would be nice, that's for sure. <laughs> Look, we have a spawner here with one guy. Talk about desperation if you need that. That would be hell for speedrunners. <laughs> this is a cool little area. I like this place. Even though it's full of monsters that want to kill me. Okay, I do not like this area, that's for sure. Let's see if we can grapple across here. Oh, jump! Oh, Mora! Wow, this looks like a lot of grappling. Ah! That way, Sam is that way. Are we almost done? No, more. Oh, I see the end of the chamber on the map. Go! Oh, just made it. Hey, it's a Chozo guy. What are you up to, Chozo? Uh. Okay, he's got a grip on me. <laughs> it's coming to life! Maybe he's trying to communicate with me. <laughs> no, he's just like, You're now my friend. I'll take you where I put all my other friends. He really knows how to take care of spikes, that's for sure. Where's this guy earlier on in the game? And now he's going through the floor. Alright then. I have no idea where we're going, but... Thanks, I guess. Yes, let me go. I award you with a bomb. Hopefully he does not get angry at me. Oh, wow, the floor falls. That is not a good idea, so... <laughs> quickly, get in the door. Okay, that's his... <laughs> That's how he reacts to bombs. But what, what do we have here, guys? We have the gravity suit. I hope you guys enjoy the color purple, because we'll be seeing it for the rest of the game. Zing! Now, with the gravity suit? Uh, what's down there first? I kind of want to see what's actually down that hole, but... I have a feeling this is going to drop me right back to the entrance, so... Uh, I'll first check out what's this way. But the gravity suit, it allows us to um, walk through water. Absolutely fine. What's out here? We have... Oops. <laughs> okay, that's what's down here. Yes, we can walk through water. It, is, it no longer poses a hazard for us, which is very nice. Because the next area we're going to be visiting is completely full of water. And is one area that I have been kind of dreading, to be honest. Because I know that it can be very difficult. Well, at least it looks difficult to navigate through. That's what I've picked up from the um, speed runs I've seen. But, we've got to get it done, so let's head on there. Now, I think we've been everywhere. Yeah, it just looks like this area is more way to go. And, of course, if you came through before, I guess you wouldn't get up here because you have the um, regular jump. And you know how Samus jumps like normally when she's underwater, without the gravity suit. It's very painful to watch, that's for sure. Ah, this room looks very painful as well. Spikes everywhere. At least I didn't do much damage. I think the gravity suit actually reduces the damage that Samus takes as well. Once again, I'm, I'm not completely sure, but that's how it usually works in other Metroid games. What's in here, though? Is there anything up there? I just want to double check before I leave. Oh, there is! Awesome! Uh, Samus? Samus! Why do they just use a damn missile? <laughs> well, I need missiles here. Missiles! Fire away! <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this already. I might have said it before, but... One thing I love about having, like, so many power bomb upgrades is that you can just waste them everywhere. And find secret stuff like that. What do we got here? Oh, jump. Ah! We have a little... We need to time some good jumps here. And we have... Ooh, an energy tank! I want that now! Yes! That gives us seven. Even though, like, the total in the game is, like, 16 or 18. <laughs> so, we're pretty far away, but whatever. I'm happy about getting that, that's for sure. Oh, damn it. Spikes? Why are these spikes down here? Where's that Chozo when we need him? 
He can clear this place out for us. What is the Chozo even doing in the wrecked ship? Did he live here? Was this ship originally like a Chozo ship? Makes you think. Alright, hopefully we're out of this wrecked ship now. Because <laughs> this area has been one massive pain, that's for sure. It's been fun, but it sure has been difficult. So let's run. Run as fast as we can. And get out of here. <laughs> do some precise jumping. I don't think we actually need to do that, but... Oh, I guess we do. Where are we now? We are in a sort of underground cavern, from the look of it. Oh, those things. I hate those damn things. They freak me out, that's for sure. Just the way they, like, pulse and stuff. Although this area does not look much better, huh? Oh, what's down here? Let's see. Let's start investigating. Power bomb. The ultimate investigation tool. It revealed nothing at all. Oh, actually, it revealed a little hole here, which just curves back around. <laughs> oh, I see. It's a little underwater passage. I guess this is how we get through. I guess there's just a whole lot of mess down here to try and trip you up or something. That's something I can see the game doing. Oh, what's over here? There is a single room. Damn crabs. You're not Mr. Crab. Mr. Crabs or whatever. <laughs> it's been ages since I've seen SpongeBob. It looks like we can actually get down there. Okay, let's see. Hopefully we can fall down for the blocks to regenerate. Awesome. Wait, is this... It looks like this is the way to go. And it goes to Meridia. Joy, the area I've been kind of dreading. But... Let's get to this. I think I won't have much time to investigate it. Because I only have a few minutes left. But we'll have plenty of time after that. And this area also is like incredibly massive from what I remember of that map we found before. Which, <laughs> I am glad we have the map. Because it'll help it without, yeah, this is one friggin' massive area. That'll help with our investigation. Okay, let's see. Well... <laughs> because there's no doors in the map, I have no idea where to go, so... Let's just start pulling out the stops, right? Stupid missile opened the door for me. Because they opened those red doors one shot. Uh, I don't know the last time I saved it. Oh, I saved it, yeah, after I defeated them. Fantoon, so yeah. But that's another save. This area is actually really weird. Now this is definitely an, un an underground cavern, that's for sure. Like, look at the background. I don't even know what to make of this. It's like an ant hole or something. <laughs> that, that's what it reminds me of. We can, like, go in under the Ethium vines there. Things are definitely alive in this area, that's for sure. Die, you yellow thing. I don't even know what you are. I don't even know what this thing is either. Thankfully, we can just, like, avoid all this by running underneath it. Wait, can we just morph... Yeah. <laughs> morph ball! I am probably missing so many secret passages. Oh, wow, it's like a... Like, this area I do not trust. Ah, get out of the sand, Samus. <laughs> yeah, there's, like, things in there. That want your blood. Wow, look at this place. Are they there just so you can use, like... <laughs> are they there just for platforms so you can get around? Like, a part of me wants to say they are, but... Ah, where do we go now? Let's see, let's see. <laughs> There's so many different passages, I seriously don't know where to go. I, I, wanna, <laughs> I also just want to keep investigating. Like, screw episode time limits. The 15 minutes is more of a guideline, anyway. Uh, can we get through here? Does not look like it. Alright guys, I'm probably going to stop when we get to the next small room, I think. Sweet rave party! Almost. I haven't been having many rave parties lately. Because there's no room to do it in. There is a door that way. Damn it! Now one of the problems of falling in these games, it takes forever to get back up. At least this shaft does not take forever to get up. 
Go away, you damn mouth. I don't even know what you are. Let's see. There is an upgrade up there. Okay, okay. I'm slowly getting the layout of Meridia. I'm slowly learning it. But this place is not even on the map. It's down here, huh? Oh, well, where does this take us? Let's see. This takes us down a tube. <laughs> a tube! That was a we pretty weird area you just went through there. It looked like it was all icy and stuff. Oh, where are we now? Are we still in Meridia? This does not look like Meridia, guys. Apparently it is. Oh, this is actually linking back to Brinsta. Huh. Interesting. I'm stroking my non-existent beard right now. This way looks like a dead end, so let's investigate. We have little, um... Goodbye. Oh, wow, they can still shoot me, apparently. Jump, jumping, jumping along. Oh, damn it. These things actually do a, do a lot of damage to you. Oh, come on, Samus. This is just like when we're jumping in water. Morph attack. Take care of those things for me. Because I can't do it myself. We are... Apparently no special just yet. Let's see what's in this dead end though, guys. Ah, there is nothing. Wow, that was useful. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to... Ooh, what's up here? Oh, get out of the sand, Samus. I want the energy. What's up here? No, damn it. <laughs> now you've got me curious, game. I can't end an episode like this. Not when there's... Oh, maybe I can end an episode like this. And <laughs> be an absolute jerk. It's so suspenseful. Oh, come on, Samus. Alright guys, I'm going to call it an episode here for today, so thanks all for watching, and next episode we will continue our exploration of Meridia. And I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of exploration to do. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.